hello i'm gonna take can you through isis um before i start my simulation i'd like to show you the problem statement these are the inputs data i have salt i have my feed and i have my salt going in so my feed comprises of ethanol and water so i can go back to my isis the first thing to do in isis is to add your components so i need my water so i can press h2o so this is my water i can click on hard i can press my ethanol ethanol and let isis look for heat so this is ethanol so i can click on hard and i also need nac here which is the sodium chloride which will be our salt so this hc here nac here I've added my components so I can add my fluid package. Fluid package is just the thermodynamic property in which you want ICES to use in solving your problem. So many times we, we use pengrobinsim, but since this contains salt, pengrobinsim will not be able to work for heat. So I will just use my NRTL. Let's check here. I think it was given. So we use NRTL for heat. So I go back to my simulation as you can see this has turned to blue it means i just as, as accepted everything you inputted so i can go to my simulation this um at property package right now but now i can go to my simulation let's go to simulation so i just will load my simulation page for me like i want to put this here so i can bring this up i need my feed i need my feed i'm going to double click on this I will change this from one. I change it to feed. So after changing it to feed, let's go back to our problem statement. It says that the feed is going in at 100 kilomole per hour, and the salt is going in at 1.5 kilomole per hour. So my feed ethanol composition is 11. That is 11 out of 100, which which will give me. 0.11 and this one will give me 0.89 that is the composition of water so i was not given um any other thing except that i was asked to operate this at prayer of 180 m so this is what i'm going to do i'll go back to my simulation i'll go back to my simulation so Go, I'll go back to my simulation. I want my vapor fraction. I don't want any of my feet to be in vapor. So I press zero for this. It means all will be in liquid state. And I was asked to operate the uh, prayer at 180 m. 180 m. So I'll change this from kilopascal to 180 m. So as you can as you can see the prayer from the specification operating prayer to be equals to 1 ATM so I'm going to be using the prayer of 1 ATM throughout this simulation so I have this to be equals to 100 kilomole per hour so I just uh, double click on this I just double click on this and for my feed I only have water and ethanol i don't have anything as nacl so my water is 0 0.89 that is 89 0 0.89 and my ethanol is 0 0.11 0 0.11 that's for my ethanol so i can just say that's my ethanol so i can just say normalize so it will change nacl to zero so it means inside the feed i don't have any sodium chloride nacl going in so i can click my ok as you can see this has changed to green and it's saying that it's okay it means i just has calculated it so i can close this i need another stream that is that contains the salt so i'm going to call this salt i'm going to call this salt i'll change this from one to salt i'm going to call it salt and I don't know the temperature, so I just neglect the temperature. Vapor fraction to be equals to zero. That is, I want everything in vapor phase, and my prayer to be in 180 m. 180 m. 
So we were told that it is in it is 1.5 kilomole, 0.5 kilomole. So that's it. So I just double click on this and ethanol and water will be zero here and i just input this one to be one because the addition of all these three must give you the total of one because they are in fraction so i can say normalize it will change all these two to zero and i can press ok and as you can see as it has calculated everything for me and the temperature as it has calculated the temperature to be equals to 274.8 degrees c so I can close this. Oh, lest I forget, I did, I forgot to tell you my name. My name is Oloyede Emmanuel Olusheyi from the Department of Chemical Engineering, Ladoke Akintola University of Technology, Obumosho. So I can just go to so as you can see these two streams has been calculated. So I need to bring my distillation column. So from my pellet. I can just look I can just go to column click on column I can click on I need distillation columns of flow sheets I just click on it I bring it here so after bringing it here <coughs> I can double click on it and start imputing so from this from this specification we were told that our number of theoretical stage is 30 our printing prayer is 1 atm so Let's go back to our, I'll change my end to be equals to 30 since we have 30 as our number of theoretical stage. So let me connect my stream. I have, I have a salt and I have, we were told that salt should enter at what stage? Let's go back. Um, okay, salt stage number, that's salt should enter at stage 2, at stage 2. So I'm going to go to my installation column now and change it here it's telling me that salt is entering at 15 as you can see i is writing 15 main tower and code so i'm going to change this to two i'm going to select two because we want it to enter at stage two so i will also connect another stream which is feed feed is also entering at 15 and for my question we were told that uh the feed should enter at stage 20 look at my mouse feed to enter at stage 20 so i'm going to go back to my simulation and change this from 15 to 20 so i will just write all this let me see this energy of condenser at times i can say q of condenser i mean the same thing so i'm going to be using full reflux so i have my overhead product overhead products overhead products so i have this let me see this as uh, my bottom product bottom product you can call it any name you like depending on what you want to use as your nomenclature and i can say this i can call this my energy of a boiler energy of a boiler so as you can see i've inputted everything i needed to input here i've inputted everything i needed to input here so i can press next so i don't need to change, change anything here i can click on next we were told that it's asking me for the condenser prayer and reboiler prayer. And checking this question, we are told to operate at 180 hem. So I'm not there won't be any prayer drop. I just input 180 hem. 180 hem. Also input 180 hem for reboiler prayer. And click next. Now it's telling me to input temperature but as you can see it's writing here that optional optional condenser temperature estimate so you don't need to put your temperature but if you want if you want to put your temperature you can also put your temperature but it's not necessary i will not be inputting any temperature i want isis to calculate that for me so i'm going to click on next yes this is now the stage whereby you specify your degrees of freedom this is the specification page 
as you can see it's writing it here that specification a page for you to get your distillation column converged you need to specify two degrees of freedom that's what distillation column works on so here now they are asking me to put to input these two values the reflux ratio and the vapor rate there are two ways of doing this there are two ways of doing this i can decide to input it here input my uh the vapor rate and the reflux ratio i can decide to put it here or i can still do it later but now let's check the question from the question the specification design and operating parameter we have reflux ratio to be equals to 2.6 and distillate flow rate to be equals to 11 kilomole per hour 2.6 and 11 kilomole per hour so i'm going to input that distillate rate we, this delay rate is also equal to the vapor rate so get that we are told that this is 11 kilomole and we are told that the reflux ratio is 2.6 i'm just going to enter that and click done so i'm okay with it now isis has opened the column environment for me so as you can see the column is still not yet converged that's because i have not tell ISIS to calculate it for me anytime I tell ISIS to calculate it for me is going to run clearly so clicking on run now let's see what's gonna happen as you can see I've clicked on run and my co distillation column is converged this was read before but now it's is is green and it's writing it that it has converged so I'm true with I'm true with my simulation. It means I have my uh it means I have my results already. So I can just go to uh my uh let's go to uh, performance. Let's go to performance. Let's go to column profiles. So as you can see, ISIS has calculated everything I need for me. The temperature at which my condenser should be. The temperature at which my rebar line should be, the temperature of each plate. Yeah, ISIS has calculated everything for me. I can check anything I want. I can easily check everything I want. I said something the other time that um ISIS used to use two degrees of freedom. Let's say in the uh when I was inputting all my all my values. I didn't input that reflux ratio and co. I, there's another way of adding it. So I can just say um, specification. No, I'm coming. I can go here like this and say um, monitor. Let me go to monitor. Yes, let me go to monitor. So on that monitor, you see this is the two degrees of freedom that we inputted the other time if you can remember that i inputted one 2.6 and 11 2.6 as reflux ratio and 11 as what as the vapor rate these are the two degrees of freedom that isis are, that isis used to calculate to 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 make this distillation column convert but now let's assume we didn't input it in that place i can easily add it here i can click on add specification so now let, let's see what's happened let me uncheck this is you as you can see these two that i inputted is it click under active it checks it that it's clicking it which means i'm making it active and if you check here look at my mouse degrees of freedom is writing zero so if i should uncheck it now this degree of freedom will change to one it means i need to input one more one more uh, specification i still need one more specification to, to calculate this so as you can see it's telling me that it's unconverged again can you see so isis is requiring me to input another one so i can just click it again like this and my decision column will be converged more so i can I can navigate through things so I can just add specification. So from this, you can add any specification you like. 
like that you like any specification you want your ISIS to use so you can just click on it and say add specification and it's going to be added so that's just it so uh, take for example if I didn't input this 2.6 and 11.00 before hmm, I can just come here though my decision column will not be convert the first time so I'll just come here and click on add specification and I can go to reflux ratio that should be reflux ratio reflux ratio column reflux ratio yeah for column reflux ratio I just click on it it and click on add it will tell me to input what I need here and I input it and I come and check it here and run my distillation column so that's just how to do it so simple so simple if you have any question don't hesitate to ask the question thank you for listening of uh, thank you for this tutorial uh, listening to this tutorial as you can see isis has calculated everything let's see something let's see some things here let's go to workbook let's open our workbook and let me click on composition as you can see in my feed i have uh 89 percent mole of water 11 percent mole of ethanol and i didn't have any salt in my salt stream i didn't have water or ethanol but i have 100 percent of salt so now when isis calculated everything in the overhead product i have uh like 12.97 percent of water uh i have 87.03 percent of ethanol at my top product which is the overhead product i didn't have any salt as my overhead product but in the bottom all the salt in the nacl has gone to the bottom product so bottom product is caught on containing more of water little of ethanol and heavy of sodium chloride my top product is contained only ethanol and water but we have more of ethanol at the top product so you can also check your energy stream this is the energy of the condenser this is the energy of the reboiler so you can check anything you you want to check you can go back to your column environment you can go to performance you can go to uh, you can go to plots you can do plot of everything so so i can say okay let's see the plot of um, um temperature so you see this the this is the temperature profile as it's going 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 so it means at 20 degree at plate 20 my temperature is what i can zoom this my temperature is what my temperature is like 84 degrees c so you, you don't forget the other time we made our prayer to be constant so isis has calculated everything for us let's see our flow view graph so this is our flow this is our flow this vapor this liquid so here here we have our boot both vapor and liquid phases but as it's going as it's going to other trees we have we are having liquid alone coming down like this so you can check every other thing you want this has calculated everything for you as you can see our distillation column is confined thank you for listening you're welcome